Bobby people? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you all how to use the Enel Couture 123 Go system with their 123 Go bubblegum gel as well as the 123 Go nail tips. Um, this is the look that I'm going to be showing you all how to accomplish and um, these are items that I got in my um, and my Enel Couture scoops, the mystery scoops that they've been having. You guys, I went and I bought a lot of products from them. Um, so I'm gonna leave uh, the links to um, all of my scoop unboxings down in the description box below in case you guys are interested in seeing what other products he offer because they are actually really good quality. So let's hop on into this. What you need for today's look is one, two, three, go full cover tips. And I really like these a lot because um, they already have glitter in them. And so, yeah, these are the tips I'll be using. Then I'm going to be going in with the 123 Go Bubblegum Gel in the color pink. And I chose the color pink because um, the nail tips themselves are kind of like this jelly pink color. So that's the color I'll be using. And that's really all you need, you guys. Um, <laughs> it's not much. It's a really quick system, and that's why I really like it. It's quick and easy. Um, I am going to be going in first, though, with my Maran Pull-Off Base Coat. I do plan on just wearing these nails for just one week and then popping them off. I've been having a lot of fun wearing his did different types of styles and nail tips, all the ones that I got in my little mystery scoop. So I've just been... Um, uh, putting them on one for a week popping them off and then putting another set on so first i'm going with my maran pill off base coat y'all know this is my absolute favorite pill off base coat um and before we go in and do that i'm going to do very very minimal nail prep okay i'm planning on popping these off so i'm not going to do much to prep, prep my nails so i'm going to use my little cuticle stick i also got this in my scoop and i'm going to just do that to push back my cuticles so i'm going to use this push back my cuticles really quick And what I do for my light prep, I just get up from the skin what I can. It's not anything major. It's just really, really light prep, you guys. Like, you don't need to do a lot. Again, I'm planning on peeling this off. So, if y'all wanting them to last longer, you go in with the, the drill bit and, you know, roughing up your nail bed and all that good stuff. Again, I just plan on popping these on for about a week and then popping them off. So, yeah. So, that's all the nail prep I'm going to do, y'all. That is it. That's all. I'm not going to rough up the surface of my nail because I want it to be easy to remove. So next I'm going to go in with a dehydrator. I'm going to use my Young Nail Swipe. You guys can use regular alcohol. That's normally what I use, but this is out in front of me. So this is what I'll be using. Just go ahead and de dehydrate your nail bed. That's going to get rid of any oils um, and excess debris, dirt from the nail surface so that the nail tips can adhere better. If you all want the nails to pop off even quicker, avoid this step. You can skip this step. So now my nails are all dehydrated, ready to go. So first I'm going to go in with my, my peel off base coat. Again, I'm going to go in with my Baron peel off base coat. I'm going to apply that to all the nails. If you all want to still be able to have an easy pop off method um, and then, but also wear them for like two full weeks, if you go in with a primer right before your peel off base coat, it actually will let the nails uh, stay on for um, a good two weeks and even at two weeks they might be kind of hard to remove so um, there's different methods and ways of using peel off base coat that gets you different wear times depending on what you got going on Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. That's what the nails look like after the peel off base. I have already went in and sized out all of my nail tips. So these are the nail tips that I'll be using for today's application. How cute are they, okay? I am going to go ahead and start with my pinky finger. I normally start with my index, but I think I've been liking starting with my pinky finger first. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my pinky finger, all right? And then the first thing you want to do is go ahead and etch the inside of the nail tip. I have already did that, but that kind of helps with it having better adhesion to the full cover tip. Next, you go in with your bubblegum gel. And what I really like about this product is that all you need to do is just scoop it out of the container. You don't even need a brush or anything like that. 
you would just scoop out a little bit of the product. Now, because I plan on um, using the actual um, bubblegum gel as the color for my nails, I'm going to put just slightly more in there um, just so that I can have it go long enough to be able to cut it off. You, I'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here shortly, but yeah, so go ahead and you will just spread that product all the way to the inside. And like I said, I'm going to go up a little bit higher than I need to because I do plan on using that as my nail color, okay? And I just kind of want it as long as my I want my nail to be, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that all over the nail here. And like so. Okay, now that it's all flattened out, next thing you want to do is just go ahead and up and just start at the cuticle. You don't actually need to touch, and then go ahead and spread that nail all the way down, like so. And then press light pressure, and then what I do is I go in underneath the nail and I go ahead and spread out the rest of that gel just to make it nice and flat, like so. That's perfect. Come back out here, check how the outside looks. If there's any spillage, I'll go, I'll take some alcohol on a brush and then I'll just go ahead and clean up whatever might have spilled, like so. Y'all, when I say this stuff is so easy to work with, like so. That looks good to me. Underneath looks good. The sides look good, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure. There is a heat spike with this gel, right? So leave it in the lamp for about five, 10 seconds, take it out, shake, cause I'm sure feeling it, ouch. <laughs> there is a heat spike for sure, but you take it out, let it cool a little bit, and then go ahead and finish curing it for, um, I just, I leave it in for about 30 seconds and then I'll go on to the next nail. And then once all the nails are applied, then I'll do the full 60 second cure. So that is what the first nail is looking like. It looks great, you guys. It looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process on my ring finger. Like I said, I'm kind of liking working this way forward. And as you all see, the underneath of the nail is nice and flat as well. Okay. So again, you just want to take the bubblegum gel and scoop just a little bit of product in there like so. And then you'll go ahead and take, I got this um, cuticle pusher. Um, I got this from a friend actually, but you can use any cuticle pusher. You can use this one if you want to as well. And then I'm just going to use that to flatten the product out on the inside of the nail. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you guys. Like so, I'm just going to flatten it out to kind of cover the surface area that I think will cover my nail bed. I think I need just a smidge more. So you go in and take just a little bit more so okay I do try not to touch the gel with my hands you can if you want to it's better not to but I'm just going ahead and spreading it out all on the inside of the nail this actually reminds me a little bit of um, the lazy girl method right doing poly gel um, with the lazy girl method but um, a little bit easier to work with like so you see how that looks nice and good I feel like that's going to cover my surface area that I need. Yep. So then I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my nail. Okay. So again, on the ring finger here, you'll just um, get it nice and close to the cuticle, but not touching it. And then you'll go ahead and just push down to just get that product on there nice and flat and what I love about the bubblegum gel too is you got time to work with it you see how it's not popping off the nail I love the consistency of this so again you'll go underneath the nail and just smooth out that gel smooth out that gel and then again that's also going to give you that color that you need for your nail bed okay um, you can put it up as high as you want depending on how long you want your nails you can do it this long you can do it that long um, I'm not going to keep mine too long. They're going to be nice active length. And make sure to flatten it out um, as much as you want because um, the more you flatten it out here, 
the less thicker to be underneath the nail. So on this nail over here, I made it a little bit too thick, uh, but you guys can see on the pinky, I made it a little bit thinner. So be careful with how much gel you leave underneath it if you don't want your nails to be super thick. Um, but I also like this too because it adds a lot of shrimp to the nails, you guys. So that is what that's looking like. I did get some spillage on my side walls and cuticle area. So then you just go in with the brush and clean that right on up. Y'all see how easy that is? Love it. And then do the same thing on the other side. You'll just go in. Oh, that's moved quite a bit. So like that. So then from here, you just go in and take up that access gel, okay? Once the nail is nice and neat where you want it, then you go ahead and cure. So that's what the second nail is looking like. I'm gonna repeat that process one more time and I'll do the rest of the nails off camera. So again, you'll go in with your bubble gum gel You'll scoop up a little bit of the product, as much as you think you need, like so. I'll do a little bit more. I like the consistency of this product a lot, I really do. Then you go in with your tool and just spread out the inside of the nail. You'll want to make sure you get it sidewall to sidewall so that, because again, you're, we're using this, the bubblegum gel as the color for the, the, the nail itself. Okay, like so. That looks good to me. And a little product does go a long way, okay? Then you, oh, oops, wrong nail. And then from there, you'll go in here, and then you'll take your finger here, you'll take the nail, apply it at the cuticle, and then gently press down, press down, press down. And you wanna keep pressing till you get it nice and flat to the nail, okay? And then underneath the nail, you wanna go in with a brush, and just smooth out that gel, okay? Like so. And you'll wanna drag it as long as you want your nail to be, essentially. And so that's what I'm doing, just dragging it out. That looks good to me. Come back in, measure, make sure the cuticle sidewalls look good. That's perfect application, then you go ahead and cure. Alrighty, so that's what the three nails are looking like so far. I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty y'all, so this is what all the nails are looking like applied. I did go ahead and finish up my thumbs, but y'all, ain't these cute. I actually really like this length. Y'all know my daughter, <laughs> she woke up right as I finished applying these, so I just had to give her a bath and make breakfast and stuff with these extra, extra long nails. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, it's hard to function with these, but the look is everything, okay? So now I'm gonna show you guys um, the next step. So underneath the nail, this is still exposed. Right huh, it's good? Okay, good. All right, let me finish recording, okay? So underneath the nail, this bubblegum gel is still exposed. I have previously worn the bubblegum gel without sealing it at the bottom. Dirt and debris does get stuck to this. This is not like a no wipe, so you wanna go underneath the nail with a top coat and that's gonna help prevent any dirt and debris from getting stuck inside that nail, okay? So I'll go ahead and do that to all the nails here. Like so. This is also nice too, because it also kind of seals in the nail to the tip, which is kind of cool. But yeah, you just wanna go in with a really thin layer of top coat, and again, that's just gonna help prevent any of prevent any dirt and debris from getting stuck inside that nail, okay? And you don't have to worry about coating the entire inside of the nail because remember we're gonna be clipping these down. So just paint it to the end of the bubblegum gel. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure it inside my lamp like this for 60 seconds. Now that the top coat has been applied to the underneath of the nail, y'all can see it's nice and shiny. That's gonna prevent any dust and debris from getting stuck in the nail. Next thing you wanna do, oops, next thing you wanna do is go ahead and clip the nails down. If y'all wanna keep them long, definitely feel free to, but I'm gonna go ahead and clip them down. I'm actually gonna clip them down to the shortest one. Um, so I'm gonna go down to a number one. I'm gonna just clip, clip each one off. Now all the nails have been clipped down. Next thing I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and any of that uh, bubblegum gel that may have spilled out um, on the sides here. I think the application overall was pretty good on this hand, which is awesome. Um, but any of it that may have spilled out, you'll wanna take a, a nail drill and just file that off. And I'm going in with a pointy one and that's to be able to get in those crevices, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick, just clean up any of that spillage here.
happy people so when you're filing off any of that excess um bubble gum gel that may have gotten on your sidewall cuticles or even the full cover tip it's really important to go in and kind of tighten up that cuticle and sidewall area that's going to create the most natural look for um these press on nails or full cover tips um that's not a way that i used to apply them i used to slightly tuck them underneath the cuticle um, to get them to look natural but I found especially actually since watching um, some of Enel Couture's tutorials that it's better to apply it right at the cuticle and then kind of tighten it up by um, shaving away any of the excess full cover tip and or gel that may have spilled out um, and it create just a little bit of space between it to give it that really seamless natural look like it's coming from your nails so I kept the filing in to show that process and as you can see I'm just filing away just the ever so thin layer of the press on nail slash full cover tip as well as whatever bubble gum gel that may have spewed out at the cuticles and side walls and so i found with this particular application that my nails looked so good and so natural um and not that they haven't otherwise but um yeah i think moving forward especially when i'm applying press ons and full cover tips with gel products i'll be using this method um, when i apply them with acrylic as you all have seen in some of my past videos I'll probably still tuck them underneath the cuticle because I get more longevity that way. But I did like um, this method for applying it with any type of gel product. So hope this was helpful to you all. Now that that's all done, then you just want to go in and crisp up the shape of the nails. So I'm just going to go ahead and perfect that square shape for me. Alrighty, so this is what the nails are looking like so far, okay? Next thing you wanna do is just go in with some alcohol and rub the surface of that nail. That's to make sure it's nice and clean for the application of base and top coat, okay? I just got some new base and top coat from Amazon. This here is a, it's a Hema Free. This is a Hema Free gel base and top coat. I think this whole brand is like Hema Free. It's supposed to be like super clean. Don't know if it's vegan, but I would assume that it is. It says release your charm. But anywho, uh, I got it because I wanted to try out a new base and top coat. I wanted to try some more cleaner brands. And um, this is a base and top coat. One of the things, you guys, that I'm obsessed with <laughs> about these um, bottles. So these are 9ml bottles, okay? And it's space coat and then a diamond top coat. One of the things I really love about these uh, polishes here is look at that brush okay first off the consistency is really good it's nice it's medium viscosity you know it's not too loose which is really nice but do y'all see that brush i have never seen a gel polish with this type of brush before now when i say the type of control that you have on the product with it i'm just i'm very impressed with it so um that's the base coat and then this here is the top coat again really nice consistency i just want to give these a go to see how it holds up so uh, let's get to applying so again go on one layer base coat and cure for 60 seconds then one layer top coat oh how pretty and again this i mean this brush just gives you so much control over the product i love it like you can get all the way up to that cuticle without even touching like i like that a lot Okay, and then once all that's applied, you'll want to go in and cap that free edge. You definitely want to make sure you do it with this particular set because um, of that bubblegum gel. When you clipped it down, you know, it's going to be exposed. So you want to make sure that's capped in as well, okay? Okay. 
So now you wanna go in with your layer of top coat. I'm gonna go in with my candy top coat. Once I apply top coat to all the nails, I'm gonna apply some cuticle oil to these crusted cuticles, and then we'll get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, y'all. I am loving how this nail set turned out. Mommy, be quiet. Girl, go sit down. Go sit down. I am loving how this nail set turned out, y'all. Oh my gosh, don't it look like I just went to the salon and got my nails did? I've been watching more of his videos and I'm learning that um, it's important not to actually apply the nail tip right up to your cuticle. I used to tuck my nails. It's better actually to not tuck them and just do it right at the cuticle and then file it all the way down. You guys see how it looks like? I just went and got my nails did like it's coming out of the nail bed, like the nail was built. Um, that's something I've not been doing when I apply nails. So I just learned a new technique. And yeah, y'all, I'm just hoping that I continue to get better and better and better at it. But I'm loving how this set turned out. What do y'all think about my Manny? It was quick. It was easy. It was simple. His little system that one two three go it really is one two three go this little system here these two this is like a good combo like i mean the system is really good as fast as easy one two three go it is it's you one two three and then you go like i, I like it a lot so yeah y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the video let me know if you all have tried any of Enel couture products right now i'm not gonna lie i'm a big fan the products are really nice they're high quality and yeah, I'm, I'm excited that I participated in those scoops because I don't think I would have ever discovered this brand otherwise. So, yeah, stay tuned to the channel. Um, I'll be back with a one-week update, let you guys know how they held up, and then also show you how I removed them because, again, I did put peel-off base coat underneath. Yeah, these are going to last me about a good week. Okay, happy people. I'm back with a one-and-a-half-week update. It's been exactly nine days later, and this is what the nails are looking like. They're holding up really good. I um, want to show you guys new growth so far. This is what the new growth is looking like. And I must say, these are holding on really good, especially considering the fact that I actually put on um, peel off base coat. I'm surprised they're actually lasting this long. Typically when I put on base coat, they will pop off within about three to five days. But I think it's because I used that bubble gum gel. It seems like it has really, really good adhesion. There's ever so slight lifting on just this particular nail here, and you can barely even see it. The lifting is here kind of from the front, okay? But the rest, but the rest are on really, really good. I mean, slight lifting here, no lifting here, no lifting here, no lifting here, and no lifting here. Well, slight lifting here. So I'm absolutely loving it. I'll be back in another week for another update. I am back with a two-week update, and this is how the nails are holding up. I'm actually quite shocked that these nails lasted this long with peel-off base coat. <laughs> and I think it has something to do with that bubblegum gel that was used to apply the nails. I think that had better adhesion than some of the other nail tip glues that I've used. But as you all see, I did lose a nail here. Um, I reapplied it with uh, nail glue and then it popped off again. And on this one, it popped off as well. It's on with some nail glue. I just did it like literally a couple hours ago. So but I'm ready to go ahead and take these off. Um, let me show you guys new growth. Okay, so this is what new growth is looking like so far on these nails. Okay, they held up quite nicely on this hand. I didn't have any of the nails pop out whatsoever. And let's look at lifting on the rest of the fingers. So on this one here, slight lifting here, slight lifting here, uh, slight lifting. All right, same on this side, slight lifting, slight lifting, slight lifting. All of them have slight lifting on it. So these held up quite nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. If you all wanna see how I take these nails off, I have actually already posted a video of how to remove these nails. I am gonna um, post a link to that video down in the description box below. Um, I was testing out a new nail debonder. So if you all wanna see how I remove these nails, uh, definitely go ahead and watch the video link down in the description box below. But yeah, y'all, two weeks of wear um, with peel off base coat and bubble gum gel with these e-nail couture tips. 
it's a win for me. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye. Mommy, I have this one. Pretty cute. What's this? You like it? Yeah. Oh, it's cute. It's cute? Yeah. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> cute. Thanks, sweetie. Thank you. Mommy, what's going on? Why, what are you doing? Give me a thumbnail. Okay. <gasps> cute. Shiny cute.